Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on June 7th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew. And thank you for joining me today. We're in our studio here looking at the sun as our sun projected a CME off the backside. We're going to get to that in a moment. Still looking at some semi active. Uh, unorganized sunspots on the front of the sun right now earth facing some regular energy looks like a normal sun but the top left corner there you can see there's something incoming now we'll have to watch the next 24 hours to see what it is looking at the emerald spiral here here and you can see the CME shooting north on this map here but that is outgoing so that was CME off the back side of the sun today looked like it was uh, hitting Pluto let's get to earthquakes last 24 hours now something very strange um, for those of you who uh, tune in daily to my earthquake updates you're going to see a drastic change here. So I want to give a small warning to all of my friends and family here on the northwestern coast of North America, Cascadia Fault Line, San Andreas Fault Line. We've seen an increase in seismic activity throughout the San Andreas, as well through most of the springs. And now today here in Alaska having a small earthquake swarm. So stay aware and prepared and be ready and have a plan because all of these earthquakes are on either side of our huge subduction zone, Eastern Pacific Plate. So let's look around and the only other activity on the Ring of Fire right now is a 4.7 in Russia and a 4.5 Mariana Islands, which is a subduct subduction zone. Largest, deepest subduction zone in the world. But there are, there's literally been no earthquakes today in the Tonga region, New Zealand, uh, Philippines. Zero earthquakes. So something is shifting big time right now. I, I'm not trying to scare everybody, but... I think this is a true warning for Cascadia Fault Line, San Andreas Fault Line, for a sizable earthquake, probably 6.0 or greater from Alaska down to California. So you can see the last seven days, most of the activity has been here, in North American Plate. Showing here, uh, last seven days image, satellite images of the weather pattern over North America right now. And we had two low pressure systems join forces over the southeastern United States. And they are just bringing a deluge of rain. And watching a very cold low sweep across the Rocky Mountains and into Alberta. And that's right, it's bringing snow to Cochrane, Alberta. Just literally 20 kilometers northwest of Calgary, there is almost a foot of snow falling. So drastic changes in our jet streams, in our low pressure systems, where they're coming from, how dense they are, how cold they are. Just look at this satellite imagery here. So of course, all the blue is snow, green is rain. This low pressure system came from Northern British Columbia. So most likely, I mean, it's two degrees Celsius here in Calgary right now. So later on tonight, Calgary might end up getting a little bit of snow, but most of the snow is falling west of Calgary. As you can see here on the satellite imagery. Welcome to June 7th, 2019. I know it's not summer yet, but it's definitely spring. 
Um, it shouldn't be snowing June 7th. Just saying. So watch for late day thunderstorms here in Calgary. As you can see that yellow and orange building and moving southwest. But this whole system is supposed to turn quickly and head northeast. As you can see here in the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteo Mike, giving you five days forecast. Things really cooling down in Western Canada. As I said, it's two degrees. You can see that low pressure system quickly shifting north into the Northwest Territories, parts of Yukon, bringing quite a bit of snow. So they're gonna have quite a snow event, Manitoba, Northwest Territories, and across Eastern parts of Canada and the United States. Watch for some, definitely some spring rain as these low pressure systems just suck up all the moisture from the Gulf dump it all over Eastern Canada and the United States. Parts of Britain experiencing a low pressure system, bringing some rain, higher elevations, snow. Quite a large low pressure system spinning over Russia right now. There are extreme heat warnings throughout China, India and Africa right now. And just look at these. Now the dark, dark purples and blue are very high cloud tops and a lot of rain. So watch for some extreme storms throughout China, Hong Kong in the coming days. As that cold front tries to push through very hot air. Parts of Myanmar seeing an atmospheric compression event as that low just gets stuck in there. And as well we have a tropical depression or sorry a cyclone developing later in the week parts of Yemen most likely will be affected by this storm also looking the Atlantic storms and it looks like we possibly could have an Atlantic storm forming here off of Africa later in the five-day forecast We'll have to see, but definitely like these, all this moisture coming off of Africa is coming a lot lower than it used to. Things are drastically changing around the world. And thank you for watching and tuning into Morning Dew every day. God bless you all. And thank you to all my loyal subscribers. I love you all very much. I hope you have an awesome day. And if you've made it this far, get down in the comment section and say, I made it this far. Subscribe, share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.